Yellow flag in sectors one and two. Uh, Yuki Sonoda has gone deep into turn number five to bring out that yellow flag. Uh, Bottas has had to go past that. And the track is now clear with Piastri improving in that final sector. He got over the line with five seconds to go and he needs a lap now to improve. Lando Norris is in the pits and he is looking over his shoulder right now. There are drivers that can ruin his day. Hulkenberg completes his lap and he's in fourth, but Norris in the pits according to our timing stack. Checkered flag is out. Russell goes to third position. And now McLaren, who have been troubling Red Bull at the front of the field, have got one car in the drop zone. It might be about to be two. Norris finds himself in 15th at the moment. Lance Stroll, we go on board with the Canadian driver, had a good run in Sao Paulo, was only five seconds away from his teammate with a strong fifth place. Can he? Knock out Lando Norris. He's got that penalty, but he knocks Lando Norris out. The McLaren driver in the pit lane and out in the first part of qualifying. Sergio trying to stay out of the way. That's what the strip usually looks like at this time of day, but it, they're not normally the best drivers in the world. Absolutely chock a block down there, and so lucky the Alpine didn't have contact over the line. It's Esteban Ocon that we're running on board with, and that's a hip and shoulder. Yeah, that's a joke, honestly. Verstappen diving into one like crazy. We should, uh, for any of our new viewers, they do have form. They have uh, they not always seen eye to eye, and that was almost uh, rear wheel to front wing. What a stupid idiot. Ocon is 17th, Joe is 18th, Piastri does not have any extra time on the board in terms of improvement, and Yuki Tsunoda went off the road on two occasions. They're the five to fall in the first part of qualifying. Car number 18, the Canadian through the 17th corner of the racetrack, and he goes to 10th. With 10 seconds to go on the clock, he is the driver at risk at the moment. George Russell wants an improvement and the British driver is about to cut the beam. The chequered flag is very nearly out. Up to third he goes, but what can Logan Sargent do? Looking to book his place into the third section of qualifying, and he's got himself up to sixth, ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Alonso goes to fifth position with a key lap. Stroll into the drop zone. He's not the only one. holcombo has gone down there as well. We've got one Williams through into the next part of qualifying, we believe. Can Albon get there? And Perez, Perez is in the pits, Perez is in the pits, this Williams is rapid in the hands of Alex Albon and out goes the Mexican driver, Lewis Hamilton dropping down to 11th position as well, Hamilton does not have an impressive sector on the board as well by way of response, he's not on a good lap, he's done, Hamilton and Perez shown the door in the second part of qualifying and look at the margin. Look at these images, spectacular on the left, on the right, but most of all in the centre, that's a lockup for Fernando Alonso chasing the speed through 14, 15 and 16. The two-time world champion has done the hard bit for the lap. He'll put his time on the board. It's Gasly ahead of Magnussen. Alonso will expect to beat both of them and he does so. He moves to the front of the field on a 33-5 that is immediately usurped by his countryman Carlos Sainz. And now to the main contender at the front of the field. By just two hundredths of a second, it's Charles Leclerc who has beaten his teammate. Signs will take a 10 place penalty. What can Max Verstappen do? With the fastest middle sector of the session so far, he is third and the top three are separated by eight hundredths of a second at the second longest lap of the year. Here is the man to beat on the evidence of the weekend so far. Wow, is Leclerc pushing on there and the timing page reflects it. So across the board, we are seeing laps completed inside. So it's not representative times for Sargent or Albon. They're going to get their chance late, late, late on. But we're looking at the battle for pole position between Charles Leclerc in the Scarlet Ferrari. On the left-hand side of your picture is Max Verstappen, who will be looking for a mighty middle sector by way of response to what Leclerc has put on the board. And if he can't find that, and he can't find that, there's no opportunity. Charles Leclerc, though, is that he's got a great chance, but his teammate has just gone faster still. Leclerc over the line to improve his time by very nearly three tenths of a second. And can Sainz respond? Yes, he's got that 10 place penalty, but can he respond? He's mighty close. 
at the marker board for the end of the second sector. We join him now. It looks like it's going to be Charles Leclerc's day, but here's the man who can beat him on the timing page. This battle between the teammates. 13 times this year, Charles Leclerc has been the lead Ferrari on the grid. The chequered flag is flying. We'll get late runs from the Williams pair at the lower end of the top 10, but that is massive effort to dance the car through 14, 15 and 16. And whilst it might be a 10 place penalty for the race on Saturday, can it be pole today? No, Sainz misses out. He won't be the top of the timing page at the very end. Verstappen couldn't improve. It was a close effort. Logan Sargent's fourth. Logan Sargent in a Williams is fourth over the line. The man who has been, well, he's down to fifth now, but the man who's been 20th in the last five Grand Prix finds a lap that's good enough. First for fourth, then for fifth, then for sixth, then for seventh. Gasly with a late run to fifth. Alvin puts a Williams in the top six. He's brought his teammate for company as well. That is the lap that you need if you're Logan Sargent, looking to continue your career in Formula One next year. But it's Charles Leclerc's day. He's edged his teammate by 44 thousandths of a second. A Ferrari 1-2 at the end of the hour. Yes, P1. Good job. Ah. Four hundredths of a second across 3.8 miles, 6.2 kilometers. Charles Leclerc, the one lap favorite going in to our session today, delivers the pole position that so many in the paddock expected.